yesterday you saw me draw lace on the background of this page. It is very, very textured lace. And then I did a collage of these two young cherubs or children for my love page, for my art prompts page, for number seven. And I draw lace frequently with my fine line paint applicator. All I use in this fine line paint applicator to draw lace is plain craft paint. Now when I first started out using the fine line paint applicators, I was using craft paint and mixing some airbrush medium in it and that would thin it down. But I found that I really like it in its natural as it comes out of the bottle. And I will say, when you're filling these bottles with craft paint, it is really best if you get a new bottle that where the seal has not been broken yet. If you use craft paint that's set around for several months, you'll find a lot of clumpiness. Acrylic paint naturally gets old and clumpy. So whenever I work with my fine line paint applicators, I try to use fresh paint in my bottle. Now, I have an art journal that I started several months ago, and I believe that if you watched my channel, you may have seen these pages before. These were done with whiteout pens before I even knew about the fine line paint applicators. And of course, this says uh, coffee, and then I have the alphabet. It's just like a sampler. And over here, I was just playing with different designs. I believe I did another one. Yes, this one. This was all done with whiteout pen. But I want to keep working in this, and I already have some pages that I've done with black gesso, so I think I'll work on these. And I think this entire journal will just be lace painting. And what I thought I would do today is a tutorial. This is going to be a tutorial, so it'll the video is going to be a bit longer. I would recommend that you keep your nozzle clean. Whenever I open my paint applicator to work on it, I always kind of move that needle back and forth. It's just something I'm in the habit of doing. It just kind of cleans out that little passageway of this nozzle. And then I always test it on a on a piece of scratch paper just to make sure that it's coming out as I'm expecting and it is. So what I thought I would do today is a little tutorial because I know more and more people are curious about these fine line paint applicators. I got mine, my first ones I got at Dick Blick. I ordered two of them at Dick Blick and, and uh, I use them over and over and over. I do like these because they're real refillable and you can put a variety of different mediums in there. But what I thought I would do today, since more people are using these or similar product, is do a little tutorial of drawing lace. And I want to start out with motifs. And so why don't I just start? I'm going to start here with dragonflies. So, we're going to make them medium-sized, and I'm not worried that they don't look like a real dragonfly. I'm just drawing a motif. I may even want this one a little bit longer. And let's give it a double wing like this. Okay, lace is, lace is very organic, I've found. It's, you'll see lots of flowers and floral motifs and circles and, and little animals. But I'm just going to do some simple dragonflies here. Now, did you see what I did? I made a long oval here and two longer wings on each side. 
And on this wing, I, all I did was draw little circular half circles going down. And let's see, what shall we do? Shall we make this one a little bit... Let's just kind of color in the top part of this wing. And let's put some dots in here, just for the fun of it. Even though dragonflies may not have dots there. And then I put two little antenna up here. And let's just put some little lines there. There's a dragonfly. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do is a flower. And I'm going to do a simple flower. Just a round circle. Anybody can do this. And then I'm going to put a petal, or six petals. And see, I, I started my petal. I put a little, I left a little blank spot between my petal and the circle. And I'm going to do that on all of them. Hopefully I can get six of them on here. And then don't worry if they're not perfect, because we're not really going for perfection here. What we are going for are some motifs. And what I want to do across this entire page is repeat this motif of a dragonfly, a flower, a dragonfly, and a flower. I do like to have a paper towel handy, and I like to clean the little nozzle off of my paint applicator as I'm going, especially when I'm using thicker paint. So I'm going to just repeat this same motif across the page. And I think I'll do it very geometrically. I think I'll try to get three, three on the top page and three on the bottom. And I may put some lace designs in between. you to think motif. A motif would be like a, a dragonfly element, a flower element. And then I repeated that similar shape six, six times across the page. I tried to make six petals. I had to squeeze this one in. This dragonfly is a little bit fatter than this dragonfly. That's okay. That doesn't matter. They do not have to be exact. Motifs in lace are connected by threads. Now, I think I will make this, I think I will have a center, a centerpiece coming this way. So I'm going to just draw a line here and a line here. And we'll do some type of a lacing design in there, but not right now. Now, the paint's very wet. And when it's very wet, it's probably better to let this dry before you work on the top portion. Otherwise, your hand's going to get into it. I'm going to work on the bottom portion. And I do find that sometimes when I work, because I'm right-handed, I'll put my left hand across the area, the table, so I can balance my hand on my left hand. And that gives me more stability than trying to work like this. It's just, it's something you develop as you work. I do think I want to make not oval but sort of like cathedral style insets in here. So I'll have a rounded rounded up at the top and then bring it straight down sort of like a little window.
this is drying, this is still very wet. That paint is very thick. And I'm going to come back in and do more to this. But I want to finish this part. But I don't want to work on this part until I've finished this. So I'm going to set this aside. I have another separate piece of paper. I have a brand new Sharpie here. I'm going to take it out of the package. I, I like a brand new one for doing this. Because I get nice thick black lines. I want to show you that you can do the very same technique using a marker. You don't have to use paint to do this. I like to use paint because, because it's nice and thick and I get that texture and, and it feels like lace. Now with the marker, just take it for what it is. You can be as controlled and detailed as you want or you can just be free and you know me I'm going to be free I'm going to use the same motif up here the same oval for the dragonflies and let's see the large wings like this and then the smaller smaller wings go up like that now I had a big bit thicker lines on the outside so that's what I'm going to do here so we're thinking motifs here that's what we're thinking and then I'm just going to put two little I don't know if dragonflies have these or not I think butterflies do but my my dragonflies will have those little antennas and oh I'm going to give him a thick body just because I did and then I'm just going to put some little curved lines there and I had dots in here in fact I had dots on all of them once I got finished with my paint so I'm going to do the same thing here and you can look at dragonflies and and do as you wish I'm just giving you the idea of doing a motif now I have this one a little bit further over to the side but that's okay too and then I have my six petaled flower so I'm going to draw a circle like this because I think that'll be easier for me. One, two, three, four, five. Might want that out a little bit more. Six. And then I'm going to color in this part and this. Just think of this as a as a sketch. I'm just showing you that you can do the same type of thing with a marker. In this case, I'm painting lace with my fine line paint applicator. Ooh, I love that texture. I can't wait to get back in and work on it. In this case, I'm drawing lace with my pen. And I'm drawing it very free. I'm just getting the same motifs. Now this is this is my motif. This isn't anything that I intend to be as real lace. <laughs> it's just it's just a uh, a representation. And I even think I want these lines big and thicker. Think of these lines as thread even as big groups of threads. Okay, let's do three of them across.
Okay, I'm at the same place on my drawing one as I am on my painting one. Except I'm going to do a little bit more on my painting one to bring the motifs out a little bit more. But I do like this. The paint is drying like it's drying here, but these very thick parts are still very wet. So I'm going to go ahead and develop my drawing one. And then I'll make my painting one look like my drawing one. This is really fun to do. It's just, it's fun to develop these motifs. I want you to think motif. My motif is this dragonfly and flower. And I've repeated that across the page six times. And then I've gone in and put in these arches. And I'm going to do that up here. And then I'll have connecting threads between the two. You'll see. Now, does lace look like this? I'm thinking lace panel. Really, this is a drawing. This is a sketch. If you look at lace, you'll see all these florals but base and, and leaves and little animals and just all sorts of intricate things. But they're all motifs. Think motif connected by threads of different weights and sizes and shapes. Just beautiful. This is just a sample to show you how to get started. And I picked a dragonfly and a flower. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the drawing and then come back to the painting one. finished. Now they're not exact. They're not meant to be exact. If you look at these you'll see I have more space underneath these flowers than I do these. You'll see my, my dragon wings here are flying outside of the arch. My motif, my fringe motif is running off the side of the page. That's okay. This is just an art journal page. No problem. What I want to do now is connect this panel to this panel and I think I'm going to do that with some dividing lines coming down this way just make this line but I want an arch here and in here and I want these big and thick and I want those same loops And I'm even going to color them in. was that. Shall I sign it? And this is 22616. Signing it falls into the background. This is my painted page. After I've finished it, I'm going to zoom in on it or just go in on it closer. I want you to see that 
I used black paint to outline the flowers and the dragonflies and put in the dots and I finished the motifs up at the top. I'm very happy with how these turned out. 